Welcome back. My name's Timo and this is Timo Paints. And today we're going to talk about the biggest mistake people make when painting their bathrooms. But before we get started, I want to talk to you about the Paint Biz Cheat Code. I created the ultimate estimating guide to help you guys maximize profits. And it's free. It's a free guide. I'll leave it in the top link in the description. And it'll also be the top link in the comment section below. So if you guys are interested in making more money, making more profits, and getting stuff done, make sure to check that out. So one of the biggest mistakes that I've noticed people make when painting a bathroom is they don't properly prep the walls. What I like to do in the bathroom before painting to avoid any kind of peeling and cracking or mold issues is to wash the walls down. I like to use a trisodium phosphate. Um, it's also known as TSP, but you could also use like um, a diluted solution of bleach and water and, you know, really not too harsh, but just some kind of way to clean the walls. Now, you could also sand down the walls. Um, this is usually the option that I'll choose to do is I'll go through lightly sand down all of the walls if I don't want to use TSP. And there's all kinds of different factors that come into play. After you got the walls clean, I like to finish the ceiling first in completion. On this, we already did one coat. You see me here in the video. I'm actually doing a second coat. What I like to do here is I go around the edges and I trim it in with a four inch small weenie roller. And you can see me using it here. I got a bucket inside the bucket. There's a little grid. Instead of using like a paint tray, I don't really like using those paint trays. I like this because I can keep it with me and I don't have to bend over as much. So after I got the walls sanded down or cleaned, uh, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and start applying your paint. I like to do a nice thin skim coat as the first coat. You don't want to put a heavy first coat on in the bathroom because you run the risk of maybe trapping moisture underneath that top layer of latex and acrylic and enamel, depending on what type of paint you're using. So do a quick skim coat on the top after cleaning. And then once you got your ceiling all the way completed, then you can go through and finish the walls in the entirety and have the whole thing done. Now, there's a lot of moisture. And the reason you want to do the ceiling first is you want to do a nice solid sim coat. Make sure it's all the way dry. Apply your second coat. And that way, this will give you the best chances of avoiding any kind of mildew or peeling and cracking because there is a lot of moisture in the bathrooms and stuff. So two things to do to avoid the biggest mistake when painting a bathroom is to make sure you clean your walls whether that's cleaning it down with a tsp a trisodium phosphate or a heavily diluted bleach water or you could also sand it and what sanding does is it breaks down that top layer makes it less shiny and allows you to uh, get a nice good bite with your new coat so Thanks for watching, you guys. Um, don't forget to check the links in the description below because I created the Paint Biz Cheat Code. And part of that cheat code is the ultimate estimating guide that'll help you guys maximize your profits. Now, when I first started, I was getting a lot of jobs. But the reason I was getting a lot of jobs is because I was bidding too low. So I had to devise a way to make more profits because um, I'm out there working. I'm working hard, man. I got to be able to stack some money to grow the business and to pay the bills and to keep growing right the the idea is growth so don't forget check those links in the description it's free free from me to you my gift to you and um if you guys like this video don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and i'll see you guys next time peace